Hi guys, I'm Silverwolf and in this video I'm going to be talking about this bootleg Sisu Dragon plush from Raya and the Last Dragon. I have a couple of shout outs and they go to Andrea Candy the Psy Fangirl and Mr Blobfish Plays. So what we have here is a fairly nice looking little plush. Um, it's I'll, I'll uh, show you the plush in detail here. Um, <coughs> it's got a, a soft vinyl head, as you can see it squishes. And it's got wire running all the way from its head down to the end of its tail, so that it's poseable, as you can see. Uh, it's got these little claws in its paws here, on, it, on the end of its sort of legs. And they're not, they're not poseable, there's no wire in that, but they are also made of a soft vinyl. It's got quite nice eyes. And no one has done reviews on these, and no one has touched upon the subject that I'm going to touch upon in this video. And that is scams, okay? So, this is a nicely made plush. It looks like Sisu. It looks quite, you know, artsy. It looks like one of those art dolls you can buy. You know, the really expensive ones that artists make that are really nicely made and poseable and have the wire through their bodies. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with that plush. As it stands, it looks fine. Um, it's, it's a nice little toy. It's also quite cheap. However, this plush is listed on sites like Wish and Etsy and for, to advertise the plush itself, they do use photos of what you see here, but unfortunately they use photos like this. You can't see it very well because it's on my phone. Um, but if I scroll through here, you'll probably recognize it if you've gone looking for plushies like this. Um, and that's a blue variation, right? So these pictures actually are not of the plush I've shown you. They are stolen from an artist called Gatman Creatures. Now she is a really talented Russian artist who does loads of amazing art dolls of all different creatures. And the thing that I'm, I'm wanting to talk about today is that people have been advertising things like this, not just this plush, um, they have been advertising various other plushies um, but they have been falsely advertising them they've been putting pictures of her stuff and, and then you know what you get is not obviously that now I'm aware of this most artists are aware that you can't buy things like that for like ten dollars she sells her stuff for hundreds of dollars even into the thousands for a large art doll and the thing that annoys me with this and that no one is talking about and that she has had loads of problems with and other artists like her have had problems with is the fact that these places advertise they've been doing it on Instagram as well they advertise things like this plush here and you think you're buying something better than you are basically so they do it to get money off people now I'm aware I bought the plush but I bought the plush to try to make a, a point about um, you know this bootleg thing that's going on how people are advertising now to get around this the people who are selling these sisu plushies are also putting in photos of this one you see here they're mixing it in with the nice the pictures of the nice art dolls from gangman um and so they're not getting told off because they are putting pictures of the real product in with the pictures of the, the, of the thing they're not selling so you know people aren't really sort of cracking down on them although I noticed that the listing that I bought this one from on Wish they have since changed their pictures now so that it's all her um, art dolls none of the I didn't see any pictures of this one on it since I bought it um, and the only reason I bought it was because I knew fully well that what they were advertising wasn't what you were getting but someone put up a photo of what she received and to be fair the thing you receive is quite nice but it isn't the thing they're advertising so if they just put photos of this up people would still buy it I mean look at it it's, it's nice you know I think it's nice it's not as poseable and it is cheap but it's still an attractive little thing and it looks like the character from the film and if they just did that without stealing people's images then I think they'd probably still sell the product um, and I get that we're all trying to survive and you know we're all trying to make money everyone's prices go up all the time etc etc 
but I think that you shouldn't sort of try to ride on other people's coattails to try to sell your own product because it's just not right you know and this video is not going to stop these people doing this but I think if, if I can raise awareness to um, so that other people are perhaps aware of this and people looking to buy things like this you know see this video and maybe I mean I did look on YouTube for for videos of this particular toy um, there is one and it's just basically a silent video where someone kind of films it doesn't really sort of touch it much or move it around much and it doesn't really show much so I thought I'd do a proper video of this because no one's talking about this and it needs to be talked about because artists are being ripped off I mean yeah I get that people won't have the money to spend out several hundred dollars on a, 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 an art doll like what Gatman does I completely understand that I'm one of those people I don't have that money you know to spend on something like that but it's the fact that they use those pictures in their adverts instead of just showing the thing they're selling you know I mean you can see this you can see it's not an expensive thing um, and it's still a nice looking thing so why not just use pictures of that pose it nicely put it in a nice place do sort of like what she does and there wouldn't be so much of an issue you know now I don't think that this character is not that popular so I don't think that they're probably taking much revenue from her and the people who buy this would probably not buy from her anyway because her stuff's more expensive and they don't have the money I mean some people on the feedback thing that I read the reviews for this particular seller that I read had bought two of these one in blue and one in purple and the only difference between them is this fur here is tipped with purple and the blue one is just blue without the tipping and I bought the purple one because I liked it better um, so they can afford to buy two of them and also Gapman has a wait list so she makes things to order so you're going to be looking at uh, a few months waiting on, on on the thing you've bought from her um, another thing is she said she doesn't use watermarks on her work because it destroys the photo and the photos are what she uses to show off her products and that's perfectly fine but she does hang like a little wooden tag around the, the plushie's neck and it's got her logo on it so that's another way to sort of tell but most people wouldn't even know who she was and they'd look at these th things and they'd be like oh wow that's lovely oh no it's only seven pounds or it's only ten pounds I'll buy that so yeah um back to that was the point I was trying to make back to looking at the actual plush itself um the fur is very soft it's I don't know where they get the this sort of fur from possibly not the same places where she gets hers from I don't know um, whoever actually replicated it to their to their credit it does look quite like you know the the, the one that they sort of uh, copied it from um, the face being vinyl is just a cheap way of because all of her faces are kind of like sculpted in, in like fur um, and of course they've got around it by doing the vinyl face to be fair I didn't like the vinyl face to begin with um, but it doesn't look too bad the only issue and the only real criticism I have with this other than the fact that they're advertising it falsely is that um, these aren't wired so they're not particularly poseable and the, the wire through the body goes right through from one side to the other without being sort of um, tied down anywhere or connected so you move that and the head moves as well because it's just one bit of wire with with the head and tail all, all on it um, but then again it's a cheap way of doing it if you were to buy something from Gatman she uses ball joints and so when you move it it feels quality and it's you know it's all sort of ball jointed like a spine going along the creature and into its legs and whatnot I'm not sure if the legs on hers are poseable because obviously I don't have one um, but yeah the only the only criticism I have of this apart from the false advertising is the wire isn't really attached so um, the uh, the ball joints aren't aren't there and you know it's just not really that quality anyway I hope you've enjoyed watching this if you want to see more sort of uh, I, I'll put this in rare finds even though it's not rare but I suppose one day they'll stop making them um, if you want to see more similar videos you can click either the boxes that come up below feel free to check out my Etsy and new Monday stores because I've got a lot of plushies in there and I don't copy people um, or you can buy me a coffee on Kofi. it all helps stay safe stay healthy and keep being awesome this is Silver signing off